What's up, everybody? This is GCXBU. Yes, the original GCXBU before the GCXBU gaming. So, I'm giving you an overall what went happened there and then. Uh, first gaming channel really got fucked up uh, by two videos that I posted the truth about SS Sniper Wolf, then uh, the evidence. After that, because the the first video about the SS Sniper Wolf is uh, me saying like what I had to say, my First Amendment, my own right to say what I had to say about SS Sniper Wolf. Second one was the evidence, meaning the all the stuff I gathered around her real name, the lies of her armed robbery thing she dropped out of high school because she's dumb as fuck, and uh, she said she she didn't want to have a uh, her boyfriend, Mr. Sausage, known as Evan John Young. Everybody knows that now, because the thing is, their names are in the public records. If you search it out on the web, the public records on any sites, you can search for anybody on the public records website. Click their, I mean, type their name, then you type it, type the information, then after all that, they send you the information. So yes, so when I did those uh, names of uh, Alia Shalish and uh, Evan John Young, and uh, what what I showed me that they are married, they have a house together, and uh, how do they call it? Oh yeah, they did the arm robbery together. So yeah, therefore. After all this yada 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 stuff and everything, um, uh, I, I don't know what to say next. <laughs> oh man, uh, hold on, let me think. Um, uh, okay, uh, robbery. Oh yeah, now I remember. The gameplays. Okay, here's one thing I have to say about the gameplays. You know that small cam she has on her latest video? The thing that when she went like 70 uh, kills and 11 deaths? Uh, here's one thing you feel, didn't realize. You see that small box with that uh, her playing the game on her controller, right? Here's one thing I, I, I'm going to say to you. Hold on. Since it's a PlayStation, I do have a PlayStation controller. Alright. Here's a PlayStation controller, for example, right? I'm just going to do an example. Okay. You know, in reverse, here, right? You do all this stuff and you input your controls, right? In that gameplay, she was using just this, not using this one. The one when you're actually using the camera, where she's moving her character around using the left analog stick. The right analog stick is for the camera, right? So, in my perspective, like this, right? Here's how you're supposed to play the game, right? You go up and you, you use it around using the camera, right? That's how you do it properly. But if you look at her uh, thing, her small square in that, on the video, right? She's just using this. How do you move your Call of Duty player with just the left analog stick without even touching this one right here? She, I'm not, she's like, okay, you like, jump. You uh, lay down, crouch. Uh, you uh, triangles to uh, switch your weapons to reload a square. And like, she, okay, she did that right, right? But one thing, she's moving her character using this thing, but not using the con the camera to like you know to each camera angles of your first person view thing when you're like actually playing Call of Duty games, right? Besides Call of Duty games, let's say like a uh, Halo, um, Medal of Honor. And all the other FPS games, right? You need this to work the camera while you're moving your character using this one. If you pay very, very close attention to that video, not just her gameplay, I'm talking about that small square where she is, what she's really doing on the really controller. If I was playing the game, it'd be like this. Okay, let's do this. See? You have your movie your character with this thing here, this one, and then you're using this one for the camera to know where you're actually going. But the thing is, 
how the hell are you moving your character just with this without using this analog stick? Which is pretty kind of weird. But th now we started to realize how much of an idiot and a fraud that she really is. So pretty much what I gotta say, she's a fake gamer. <laughs> obviously. It's obviously her husband now uh, like giving her the mp4 file of his gameplays giving it to her to do a commentary what I'm doing to you I'm just this, this is my commentary right now I say hey guys what's up this is g6 be able to put today we're gonna play call of duty game then we will have my screen have this thing that square whatever you want to call it then let's play call of duty game then also let's go play right so <clears throat> here's my summary of this part right here for the second issue of this uh, thing of her gameplays. So pretty much her husband gives her the gameplays to comment to do her commentary on and when she has that live feed thing she had all she's doing is just holding controller not even actually playing the game which is sad. So that takes care of that part. Third part uh, it's her arm robbery thing. Okay, this is the part when it gets a little personal. But I'm not going to go into too much details about it. I'm just going to say the summary of that arm robbery. So pretty much in the public record it says both of them were arrested for arm robbery. And in her video she says uh, the charges were dropped. Okay, the charges may be, be dropped. But the thing is, her real name is there, while her YouTube is Leia Valentine. That's here's now that went comes snow four right now. We're done with number three because I don't want to deal with the arm robbery that's too personal for her and for me. But the thing is, the reason why I'm going to skip that part because let's get on to other parts we have to say about as a sniper wolf. So four is her name. All right, Leo Valentine. Here's one thing: when I had my two videos uh, taken down, like uh, two or three years ago, like around 2012, 2013, something like that, before my channel got fucked up, my first gaming channel. So therefore, when I saw the name on the the copyright strike, okay, had all this stuff, had all this claim cl claimers with a lawyer and all this stupid shit we don't need, right? So here's one thing that really caught my eye. What's her name? Leah Valentine. So when I when I typed up on Google on public records, it had nothing. Had nothing at all. So but when I went back to Google and go to IGN I typed in Leah Valentine, then all of a sudden it came up to a SS sniper wolf. I'm like Okay, now it gets a little more interesting. So after all that, you know, the form of the IGN thing, like exposing as a sniper wolf and all that. So did all that, read all the people's comments and disclaimers on all that shit, whatever. So to sum it down short, that uh, her name, Leah Valentine, is fake. Meaning, if she is caught, using that name she will have to apologize yeah make a public apology to all those people she have uh, gave those copyright claim, copyright strikes to because that's illegal you can't do that you cannot put a fake name on a DMCA form you know to censor people right because if, if you have the right to censor people, you have to put your full name. No aliases, no nicknames, nothing, right? So what she did is, she put she didn't put her full name, Alia Shilish, whatever her name is, whatever the fuck you want to call her. So instead, she puts her fake name, Leah Valentine. Oh my god, <laughs> it's really stupid. And then, after four... Then we're going to five, which is right here. In the thumb. <laughs> so um, the fifth part we're gonna say about is her 
they call it her husband. Hold on, let me uh do my sugar real quick. It does uh did that shit every time I'm in my sleep mode. I hate that shit. Anyways, I'm back on sleep mode. Uh, things about the fifth one or talking about her husband. Okay. Let me let me start with get off. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna start this off by uh, Evan John Young, the guy who was very known in Metal Gear Online, known as MGO. Okay. This guy is a serious. He's a serious gamer, and uh, he knows. What he's doing because he's like been playing all these games, the like hardcore badass that he is, or whatever, something like that, right? So, pretty much an MGO in his old channel, XRIM1217, which he uh, put his uh, shit on private now. I'll put that, that uh, link down below to the description so you guys can check it out. That I am right because the thing is, he put that shit on private for a reason because he knows he's the one that's doing the. Gameplays for SS Sniper Wolf. Okay. So after the part with MGO being a dominant badass that he is and all that stuff, then uh, all of a sudden he goes into Call of Duty. When he was into Call of Duty with his girlfriend at the time, she really sucked at the game as a sexy, sexy sniper. So that's how it came up to her channel as she taken down all her videos. In that channel, you don't have any more of her old videos and shit because back in the day when she was doing all this, she had like naked pits and all that stuff. She, uh, these stupid uh, fan service thing with her breasts, naked body, whatever you want to call it, something, whatever. So, a lot of people tried to expose her on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and all this other social, social media stuff. Guess what happened? She will fucking block you and delete your comments and call you but her people. Because the thing is, she can't admit the thing that uh, she can't deny. She completely denies the truth because we're trying to expose her, but we can't do anything about it, right? I've, I did my part before. I'm not going to do it again no more. Because I have my own channel. I'm going to start fresh. Back again. Make a comeback. So why the fuck not? So after all that, after number five from her husband is now her herself. Number six. So in number six, an SS Sniper Wolf's uh, bullshit manipulating. Okay. This is part of the guess. Very interesting. Uh, a little summary. Da -da -da -da. Okay, she went, she went on a war with Girl Gun Gamer known as Rhea or Ryan, whatever you want to call her. And uh, she went into this war between uh, Girl Gun Gamer and SS Sniper Wolf, right? Then these two, yeah, right? Funny thing is, uh, Girl Gun Gamer, she did her stuff. She was so popular back in the day. It's all about popularity contests here, people. Okay. So, okay, we got Girl Gun Gamer here. This part, and then we had as a sniper wolf here. All right. While well, she was, girl gun gamer here was going all the way up to the top to her stats of so like subscribers, likes, views, comments, all this stuff. It goes higher, 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 higher. Where was as a sniper wolf? Right here, right? She's down here. As 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 a sniper wolf is trying to go there very slowly, but while girl gun gamers going up, 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 up in her stats, right? Okay, that's all about her uh, stats and everything, what she's doing to her channel. Vlogs, gameplays, how to do stuff, yada yada yada. Girl gamer. Okay, that's good enough. Then, we t let's take her off the side we have as a Sniper Wolf here, right? As a Sniper Wolf. Okay. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well you have Girl Gun Gamer all the way up to the stats, very high up there. Well, as a sniper wolf is down here trying to think of something to get rid of her fame, Girl Gun Gamer success to the charts. You know how Girl Gun Gamer has a million views into a lot of her 
videos and ch chats, stats and all that shit. Yeah. Okay. Here's the here's here is the thing that really really fucking happened. Okay, while she was on top here, here's SS Sniper Wolf. Okay. So what she did is she made two she made one video as about the uh, the truth about Girl Gun Gamer, right? Then after that, she made a vlog about it. Okay, when when these two videos came up, while well, Gorgon Gamer is like right up here, very high up. Watch this. Watch watch as a sniper. Wolf. As Gorgon Gamer is going low, as as a sniper wolf is going way 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 up to the stats, likes, views, comments, followers, subscribers. You know what happened? Here's here's what I did. Here's what it was. You know, as a sniper wolf, right? Was down here before, right? While well, girl gun gamers way on top with all these stats coming up as subscribers and everything, right? That's because she's a girl. She's a girl gamer. Like, like to some people say legit and all everything. I'm not picking sides, but I'm just saying. So well, she's going up, 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 up. As a sniper wolf, she made two videos already. All of a sudden, yeah. Going up versus where is uh Gorgon Gamer now? She's going down lower, lower, and lower as she's going up, 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 up as a sniper wolf. See, here's one thing I, I kind of noticed about that part the popularity of girl gamers on YouTube. Okay, when I said that, I'm not talking about just all girl gamers in general. I'm talking about these two girls in general. Between these two, girl gun gamer and SS sniper wolf. Shh. One wasn't fame. One wasn't. What happened? Became the reverse. Right? It keeps going and going and going. So, what I'm trying to say here is, what SS sniper wolf did. After those two videos she made, the truth about Girl Gone Gamer and the vlog talking about it, she's saying that she's not into drama shit, but bullshit, she is. She got into it. So, to sum it all up, all this stuff to her stats of Girl Gone Gamer from her uh, views, likes, comments, subscribers, and everything, right? Her popularity is still there. To her views, but her subscribers are going very, very low because of SS Sniper Wolf. Because you have Girl Gun Gamer, you have SS Sniper Wolf. Alright, before it was like this, right? Girl Gun Gamer was so popular before. Then when those two videos hit from SS Sniper Wolf, it became the reverse. See what I'm talking about? You know what happened? SS Sniper Wolf stole. She's completely stealed or stolen. Girl Gun Gamer subscribers to manipulate them to make her believe that she's not a girl gamer, yada yada yada, all this shit, all this bullshit going on. And she's going rising up the fame to now. Like from, uh, I think it was like 2013, 2014, then going way, 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 way up, up there. Well, Girl Gun Gamer is low, very low now. And like, thing is, the reason why she's low, she's not doing gameplays anymore. She, everybody knows that she doesn't. Do her gameplay is like her family member or whatever. Who cares? So what happened to Girl Gone Gamer? She's not popular like she used to be. All all her videos she does now is like vlogs about girls, girl things, guy stuff, yada yada yada, all that shit. Well, SS Sniper Wolf is going way up to her uh, Call of Duty gameplays. All right, now it's time for number seven. Remember what I said about the uh, number five being the hu the husband, Evan John Young, known as Mr. Sausage. So let's do a summary on this guy. Okay, we, he played MGO. He was a badass before. Played Call of Duty, and became a badass. Why he did all that stuff? Gave his gameplays to his girlfriend during the time. Commentary on what happened. Her success got up high because of that. And then all the shit went down, yada, 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 all the shit. Too much information. To end it all off from, num from, from number seven now. 
Number seven is the whole thing what really went down right now. To a lot of people know that as a sniper wolf is the biggest fraud more than Girl Gone Gamer. Even though Girl, Girl Gone Gamer faked her gameplays, probably was her family member who gives a fuck. So now we know about SS Sniper Wolf between the two girls. One Girl Gun Gamer, the other one SS Sniper Wolf. So to clear this all up to one big shit going down. Yes. Yes people. You it's all because of you. Yeah, you people. Including me. Including me. Here's the thing. There are fanboys between Girl Gun Gamer and as a sniper wolf, right? This war will never stop. Even though the case has been closed, a lot of things went down, a lot of people exposed Girl Gun Gamer already. Now, this year of 2015, we have a lot of people exposing as a sniper wolf. Including me. I did my part in Dealing Motion. And a lot of people recommended all those links because of my thing, right? I got this one guy I was watching a while ago on YouTube, uh, saw his testimonies on uh, whatever, like part 3 video or something, said, uh, look, description down below, the link and everything, it went up to my page, the emotion. Everybody seen the testimonies, we all know what really went down, what, what really happened to SS Sniper Wolf and Gorgon Gamer. This future is really, really stupid, and then uh, all this shit with Gorgon Gamer, SS Sniper Wolf, yada, 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 shit. So, after all this, now I can finally say, yeah, it's this time. We finally get to step up to SS Sniper Wolf. But one thing though, nobody has uh, done it yet. Except for me. Except for me on, on Deal Motion. That's just my part. I didn't I didn't sign up for anything else or whatever. But I know there are a lot of people who are trying to expose SS Sniper Wolf. Really? I don't know what to say, but I was one of those guys before. And uh, it fucked my really fucked me up so badly. My first channel it really fucked up. And I don't wanna say that anymore because it's like water over the bridge. My first channel, I'm done with it. The only thing I have on that channel is just all my Call of Duty clips, like 2012, 2013. I don't play Call of Duty like I used to before. Now I'm focusing on more stuff on my video games. Yada yada yada. yada. I'm trying to bring, make myself a comeback after so long. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've been gone uh, since uh, the late 2013, as I remember. Late 2013, early 2014, that's the time when I uh, got my first channel. GCXBU, the very first one, the very, very first channel. Really fucked me up. It's it's not my it's not my gameplays it's not my views it's not my comments it's not my subscribers no it's all because of that one specific person I'm talking about S S Snapper Wolf okay this is what I got to say about S S Snapper Wolf I don't envy you I pity you you know to know why I pity you because out of all girl gamers now in general are trying to make a living on YouTube trying to be popular and trying to do something for themselves to have that YouTube fame in gaming, right? Here's the thing. As a sniper wolf, you are not one of them. The reason why I'm saying this is because you've been a fake for a long ass time since 2009. And yes, that has been a long, long time since Metal Gear Online and Call of Duty was so popular during the time. Then now you're doing this shit. I'm surprised nobody uh, caught up on your bullshit. Really. You never know if someone might uh, rap about it. Like in a hip-hop song or whatever. I mean, probably like Hobson or... 
whoever, who cares? I don't know. I don't know who. But as a reference, they could do that for gaming society and life in general. Yeah. I don't care that I'm getting likes or dislikes on this video. The only thing I care about is my opinion to what I oppose to, to what I am sharing to you. I'm sharing you my First Amendment, what I have the balls to say to what I want to say. I don't care if I get in trouble. I don't care if this video gets flagged for something that I said about SS Number Who cares? Why are you continuing to censor people about us, us fans, and other people, other people out there trying to make a living for ourselves, trying to get into gaming and for other girls, girl gamers as well, trying to go into gaming as well. You are one of the most hypocritical people here on YouTube. I'm going to say that. The reason why you're so hypocritical is because you block and delete everything and you censor people going around doing all, all that shit. Yeah, all that shit. And to whoever, whoever tells the truth and exposes your lies. Wow. You are a bitch. You are one of the most hypocritical bitches here on YouTube I have ever seen my whole entire fucking life. I've been on here. And that's saying a lot. I know there are a lot of people like Oppressor, Sandy Ravage, Only Use Me Blade. Machinima, I, IGN, all these guys, they were here before you. They also popular. When you were here in around 2009, you were unsuccessful and you sucked at Call of Duty. And you had to bring someone to do your gameplay for you. You are the most pathetic human scum in this earth. Really. I'm not the only one that's the same way. I know what Ningbo Hood is. And a whole lot more people. Yeah, I don't care about all you people saying fanboys and shit. Yada 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 this, yada yada that. All this bullshit. I'm like, come on. Who gives a flying fuck? <laughs> really? It's, it's like me. Okay, let's say if I'm gonna go against some other big YouTuber, right? And I say a bullshit lie that's not even true. And I got success out of it. Boom, right? <laughs> that's stupid. Here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing. I'd rather be that kind of subscriber and a YouTuber, you know, just trying to do something for himself, trying to do it naturally. Partnerships, all these equipments, all this stuff needs to be done on game, right? Then you're trying your best to get views, comments, subscribers, and a whole lot of people appreciate your content, right? Of course, everybody does that. If you have good content, you have good shit. If you don't have good content, people go to other people else. I'm like, look at the red bread. Red bread. Pewdie, Dead Pie, whatever his name is, he's like a million there. Whereas as a sniper wolf, not even there. See what I'm talking about here is all about YouTube fame. A lot of people want to make money off YouTube, trying to make themselves more pre presented. You know what I mean? Me, I'm just st trying to start off this year, trying to do my best. I'm my, I guess my best not good enough. I'm trying to put them all social media. I don't know. I mean, I play old school games, I play new games, I play, you know, various games. Why not? Besides Call of Duty, good enough. I'm like, Call of Duty is the most overrated stuff, which comes to number eight. Yeah. Sorry about that long thing about as a Sniper Wolf. Now, back to the topic. Why this war and all this shit went down is because of Call of Duty. <laughs> What can I say about Call of Duty? I'm like, Call of Duty is the number one franchise on the game's book of records. Fuck you. It shouldn't been. It should have been like Mario, Zelda, Kirby, all that. Back in the 80s, should be now. 
But instead, Call of Duty, bullshit. I'm done that. That's why I stopped playing Call of Duty. I, st I started playing in 2012. I stopped in 2013. That's why, you know, those videos I have on my old channel? Old school. I don't do that anymore. Now, I'm focusing on new games besides Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare? No thank you. Ghosts? No thank you. Black Ops 3? Fuck that. I'm not gonna even touch it. I'll be like this. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, Call of Duty now sucks. But back in the day, it was good. Okay, like, events... Okay, let's say like advanced warfare. Okay, we got all this stuff. Yada yada yada. Okay, it's so good, all good, and everything. Yeah. Like, dude, play this game. And let's play advanced warfare. And rank up and shit. No, fuck it. How about playing old school Call of Duty? Like, World at War. Yeah. World of War was the shit back in the day. How about Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare? That was great. Modern Warfare 2? Beautiful. Modern for 3? Uh, it's a little up there, but it's okay. But it's still playable. First Black Ops. Oh, fuck yes. One of the best Call of Duty games of all times. Very agreeable and disagreeable, so I'm not gonna stick to that part, so no big deal. Anyways, and all about Call of Duty. Now it's time for number 9. Summarize the whole fucking thing. What well, we've been th we just went through, okay, from number 1. We talked to from number 1 to number 8 is all the stuff about SS Sniper of Girl Gun Gamer and Call of Duty, her husband, fake gameplays, arm robbery, all this shit, whatever. Now I can say this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's a big fuck you. A big fuck you to SS Sniper Wolf. Yeah, really. I'm like, you are ruining the gaming community here on YouTube. I'm like, come on. A lot of gamers out there trying to do their best, trying to make themselves known. But wh what are we doing? We have less views, less comments, less subscribers. Everybody's trying to do it. I'm trying to do it for myself. Trying to make a comeback. Hell, I had like 792 of my old old gaming channel, GCX View. I'll put it down below this description. Believe me, I was popular big before. Now, I don't know, man. Well, all I can say this. Only God knows. So pretty much, it's got the point of time, whether you're famous, not famous, if it's not meant for you, don't go for it, do something else. I mean, if YouTube is, is what you're really good at, you want to succeed more to everything you're doing, good. I mean, make that your ambition, make that your motivation, make that your determination, whatever. Make that be your life. Uh, me, I have so much to do, you know, like from, I, I finished college, I already work full-time job, and I'm, I'm doing YouTube for my sideline, you know, trying, you know, trying to do something for fun. But for this, I need for fun. I wish I could make some money. That's the only thing I can say. I mean, here on YouTube, doesn't make money. Extra money for myself. Even though I have a full-time job, it's cool. I mean, all right, guys. Sorry for the very, very long video. <laughs> and uh, maybe next time, I'll show you uh, my game, game stuff. You know. Games I own, games I play, what systems I own, all that shit. Whatever. Alright, guys, it's been a long time. I gotta go sleep now. Alright, guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you next time.